Little Platypus, written by Nettie Hilton and illustrated by Nina Rycroft. Beside the river, in two warm secret places, one high, one low, lay two eggs, hatching. Bit by bit, piece by piece, the shells tipped and tottered, and shifted and shattered, as eggs do. First one egg, a kookaburra, the fine mess of feathers said. Look at me, I am a kookaburra. Then the other, look at me, the sleek loss of fur said. Look at me, I am a kookaburra too. The pieces of shell were there, bit by tiny bit, the beak was there, round and flat and soft, but that was all. No feathers, no wings, only a sleek glossy fur coat, two button bright eyes and a tail that wasn't a bird tail at all. I am a kookaburra, the small glossy creature declared. I don't think so, laughed the fine mess of feathers, and with the wonderful swoop of his wonderful wings, the kookaburra flew high into the air. Can you do that? he sang. Can you? The kookaburra laughed as kookaburras do. The small glossy creature flapped his arms as hard as a small glossy creature could, which was not nearly hard enough to fly. I don't think I can be a kookaburra, he said sadly. And it probably shouldn't have mattered, not everyone can be a kookaburra, but it would have helped just a little. Who are you? asked the small glossy creature. Am I one of yours? I am a koala, said a deep furry voice.
I climb trees and sit on branches high above the ground. And then, with a soft padded thumb, she sat on her soft padded rump, just as snug as snug could be, right up against the fog of the eucalyptus tree, as koalas do. The small glossy creature stared at the koala. The fur was there, the button bright eyes were there, but that was all. No large ears full of fuzzy fur, no round flat soft nose, only glossy fur, sleek and smooth, and a tail that wasn't a sitting upon shape at all. I don't think I can be a koala, he said sadly. And it probably shouldn't have mattered. Not everyone can be a koala, but it would have helped just a little. Who are you? asked the small glossy creature. Am I one of yours? I don't think so, said the tall bird with a drum in his throat. I am an emu, I am tall and elegant and important, and I run very fast indeed. And to prove it, the emu fluffed his feathers and pounded off, as emus do. I don't think so either. I'm not an emu, the small glossy creature said sadly. And it probably shouldn't have mattered. Not everyone can be an emu, but it would have helped just a little. Who are you? asked the small glossy creature. Am I one of yours? I am a wombat, the sturdy animal with the sock top ears said. Holes is where I live and digging is what I do best. And to prove it, she dug deeply and truly and very very seriously, as wombats do. The small glossy creature sighed. I don't think I can be a wombat, he said sadly. And it probably shouldn't have mattered. Not everyone can be a wombat, but it would have helped just a little. Who 
Who are you? asked the small glossy creature. Am I one of yours? I am a frog, said the slippery splash of green. I come from an egg, just like you. And the frog leapt into the air, as frogs do. I don't think I can be a frog, the small glossy creature said sadly. And it probably shouldn't have mattered. Not everyone can be a kookaburra, or a koala, or an emu, or a wombat, or a slippery splashy frog. But it would have helped, quite a lot as a matter of fact. Very large tears rolled down his cheeks and off the end of his soft round nose and landed splot into the water, as tears do. Why are you crying? asked a sleek glossy creature who popped out of the creek. I am all alone. I don't belong to anyone, answered the small glossy creature. Am I one of yours? Two button bright eyes, sleek glossy fur, a tail that wasn't a bird tail or a sitting upon shape, webbed bird feet, and best of all, oh best of all, a nose round and flat and soft as could be. Yes, you are, said the sleek glossy creature. You belong with me. Really? said the small glossy creature. Really, she said. You're a platypus just like me. And it probably shouldn't have mattered, but it did, a whole great big lot. And they danced off into the water as platypuses do. Please follow our channel for more stories to come.